All right, guys, doing some quick breakdowns over the weekend. We've got Josh in his first match here. Um, I've already discussed with these guys what happened. Uh, like, so Josh had just not a deep enough takedown here. Slow this down a little bit. So this guy had grips. Josh goes to shoot. He's unable to get the guy's weight traveling over the top of him. So the guy basically stiff arms Josh and kind of sticks him. Now Josh is able to slightly recover here before almost giving up his back and gets to the guard pull. Okay? So this is the part that me and Josh uh, addressed yesterday, actually. So Josh really likes to use lapel grips um, uh, off the underhook thing, off the underhook series, use like a combination of coyote guard, um, uh, deep half, and things of that nature. Um, so what we had talked about is when he has underhook, so his last couple of matches, is he gets underhook, but he gets so tunnel visioned on the grips that in order to get these grip passes, guys, a lot of times you have to start to rock a little bit flat to your back. And as soon as you do something like that, you're basically negating the underhook, doing what the top guy wanted you to do anyways. Um, and then you risk getting flattened out, which is kind of what's happened to Josh in his last two matches. Um, this, the top person is able to start to go perpendicular with Josh, therefore making his arrow of frame facing him, and then it's kind of just downhill from there. So the fact that a little bit behind the eight ball on that guard pull ends up getting a nice recovery and getting to the underhook, after Josh pulled, Josh should have basically turned this into coyote guard this leg should have started to come over the ankle as best as possible or at least start to rotate up at this point and worry less about grips grips will be secondary after you have underhook so guy frames on his head does a great job of coming underneath josh's leg right here um like we had talked about this before just fully commit to the underhook kicking this leg out straight trying to clear this grip at that point and coming up on this hand, if possible, too, Josh. Because the fact that you're so low right here, I mean, unless you can get a good bump this way, which we know that he prevents with this grip in a little bit, um, just got to get up. Up, 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 up. And as soon as you let go of underhook, this guy doesn't have to worry about anything. And that's the nice thing about this grip. So this grip's a good counter grip um underneath the leg. But what it does allow is the bottom person to constantly be able to get underhook here. So... Josh, if we'd like we talked about, you would kick this leg straight, come up with the underhook, trying to bring his weight over the top of you, and also just come up in general here. Um, would have been a much better spot instead of tunnel visioning on the grips. Yep, nice try to attempt to roll here, trying to get the deep half. Um, this grip is making everything extremely difficult for you, obviously. Um, I will say, though, if you had enough space and you could have popped your head out here, that might have been a next angle of attack. He probably would have been able to turn in on you but or go for the knee bar, but it might have given you a better opportunity than getting pancaked, which happens in a little bit. Yep, just trying to recover knee line. So this is the grip right here, Josh, that we were talking about that killed you. As soon as he had these two points of contact, he basically had you stuck in position here. Um, because it eliminates your ability now to really generate power in that direction. And he's able to put counter pressure on your grip, making the grip that would be really good not so great. Especially once you're flat. So like we talked about before, this would be a time, let go of the grip, use the underhook to pump towards the camera right here. Yep, so you can stay on your side and start to work. Hanging out in turtle way too long. It was the right idea to go to turtle, though. But just that's a drilling habit that we have to fix in uh, rolling. Just got to start. Got to start not hanging out in turtle. Turtle's great to prevent the uh, pass. Hanging out in turtle, though, leads to things like this. So got his ankle now. So now we have to be worried about him repassing and getting more points. We're coming up for the back. Which it looks like he was trying to do right there. Can't really see what's going on with the grips up front, guys. Yeah, I, Turtling there, Josh, uh, not the best idea because it, it didn't look like his weight was high to bring him over the top. Your best bet would have been just constantly trying to turn in there. You do a good job of 
preventing the what looked to be a tight Bonero attempt. Still hanging out here too long. That leg should have been trying to step behind while he's trying to pin it and either do a fat man roll or regard off of it. Um, because basically you're just letting him work at that point, getting to superior position. He's got a good wedge. Also, like we had talked about in class, um, Josh's bracket was absolutely stacked. I think four or six of the uh, competitors had over 150 points accumulated, which means these guys compete a lot, a lot. So being Josh's second tournament, um, it's all good. All right, tries to step over. I'm not a fan of this, Josh. You need to be trying to use that leg to step. And here's another part. It's a regard. Yeah, and sometimes, guys, I mean, this is what can happen. You get so far behind the eight ball, especially when points are involved. Just, just sucks. And this just goes to show, guys, like how important or how a little mistake can go a long ways. Like that underhook guard pull right off the start set the tone for the entire match at this point because it just puts Josh on the defense the rest of the match. Yeah, I don't want your habit to be to go to full turtle if the hook is already in, Josh. Unless you're going to get your ass higher and start to really put them up. Right, he goes back to that grip. You do get to deep half. He just looked the time. He knows the time. Basically, guys, he's just going to ride this out. There's no way Josh is scoring that many points in this amount of time. So Josh hits the fucking deep half guard sweep. And, yeah, that's it, guys. That's all she wrote. But good match, good learning experience, Josh. Uh, we fix those things. It's going to make big strides in your game for a uh, tournament. Um, and dropping a weight class, I think, is going to help a little bit, too. But good job, buddy. On to the next.